On Easter week 2012, Mark's bandmates started noticing some unusual changes in his behavior. You saw Mark that Friday before Easter. Right. What was he like? Well, at, we were doing a recording session. We never got the recording done because he was just so out of whack. And I'm like, Mark, come on, we're trying to do a recording here. It didn't even click to him that we were trying to record. One thing struck me so out of place, his skin color. What did it look like? Yellow. His skin was actually a, a yellowish color. So something was wrong with him. Something was wrong with him. That was the last time I seen him. His children are also becoming concerned about their father. On April the 7th, Sean writes, my father is slowly getting sicker, his voice is slurred, his walking is wobbly. Tell me about that weekend. He had gone to band practice, like usual. He came home, he was stumbling about. I finally got on bed, and he just slept. Were you worried about him when you went to church? Not really, because I've seen him do that before. So you come home from church? Mm-hmm. And what do you find? He was still sleeping in the bed. And your husband's and gone? And he wasn't breathing. You know why he's died? No. What did you think when you heard that your pal had died? Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. It, sh it took me, it took my breath away. You lost your husband. Mm -hmm. You've got four children. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? What are you making of this? It hadn't really sunk in. How did the kids handle this? Um, nobody was really surprised. We knew he was getting worse and worse. I talked to Diane. I went to her house and asked her what happened. And she proceeded to tell me like she was giving me a recipe to a cake. No Matter of emotions, fact. no emotions, no nothing. You thought something was odd. I knew something was odd about the way she's acting. So you try to cope with this, and you go to the memorial service. Yes. What was that like? It just felt like I lost my best friend. I was sitting there in tears. When I looked at her, I kept looking at her, and she wouldn't even acknowledge me, and she just kept looking ahead. I thought that was strange. Not long after the memorial service, Diane gets a $20,000 payout from Mark's life insurance policy. So she decides to move the family into a bigger house in a new neighborhood in Springfield. She had moved into a different house by that point, uh, which was good because the house they were living in was rather cramped with uh, four children. So we thought, well, good for her, and hoped that it would help then move forward, so. Incredibly, Diane and the family have only been living in that new home a few months when tragedy strikes the Stouty family again. What is your emergency? It was Sunday, September 2nd, 2012, and there was a couple of police cars out front. And we all stood there watching and waiting. And finally, a policeman came out, and he said there was a death in the home, but he would never tell us who it was. How much bad luck can one family have? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.